friends and welcome back and we are filming videos once again at more music in Evansville Indiana and within days we're going to be unveiling our new video studio this is not it this is our performance venue but got to give a big thanks to Brett for putting so much time money and effort into just building a state-of-the-art video studio for us right here to produce videos for you and also have to give a big thank you to Jeremy and Derek for all of the work, the physical labor that they've put into building this studio. It's going to be incredible. You are going to love it. But I'm here today to talk to you again about my love for D'Angelico guitars. In particular, the Premier Mini DC. Uh, I chose the tones that I was using at the beginning of this because I think we sometimes overlook the fact that semi hollow bodies can give us this one just almost magic when you find that sweet spot of interaction between your guitar and your amplifier and they're working together and the tubes are compressing a little bit and the guitar is getting the, the frequencies from the amplifier and feeding it back to the strings and you just get this wonderful blooming sustain. Uh, it makes it understandable why Eric Johnson, uh, for so many of his iconic solos, didn't use his strat that most people associate with him. He was using a semi hollow body, a 335. But a good hollow body guitar will give you that, that kind of acoustic coupling where the guitar and amp are just one instrument and they're playing each other. And it's such a joy to be in that zone when you're playing. I am a big fan of D'Angelico, in particular their semi-hollow body uh, electrics. And you would expect that uh, because they built their tradition on archtop jazz boxes. They know how to build great acoustic properties into an electric guitar. They've been doing it for decades and decades, and it just continues to this day. Anyway, what we've got here is um, just an incredible smaller body, 14-inch uh, width, semi-hollow body uh, from D'Angelico in their Premier line. Extremely affordable, just a great value for a semi-hollow body. But uh, what they've done here, we've got a laminate spruce top, maple back and sides on here. We have a maple neck, oven coal fretboard with uh, medium frets and a 14 inch radius. So it's got kind of a, a vintagey feel on the top end, but the neck carve on this, it is a C and it's not a super slim C. It's just very comfortable. It's to me very reminiscent of mid 60s era you know gibson carves but just super super nice this design is not just a typical set neck with a center block this is a set neck through so it gives you some excellent feedback suppression but you know like i say d'angelico they know how to build a guitar with strong acoustic properties and the chambers on the side of this just work beautifully with helping the guitar sustain and really get that interaction with the amplifier that you like to hear out of these. We've got the uh, D'Angelico stop tail, the D'Angelico version of the Tunomatic. Up on the top we have the stair step rotomatics, which I just love every D'Angelico. I play with these on them. Uh, they're just very responsive, very precise, and hold intonation just really, really well here. Uh, I'm going to switch over to a clean sound here uh, so we can hear these pickups as most people expect to hear these. But, you know, it, it, if you're playing blues, jazz, this is going to do a great job at it. But don't forget what you can do with just a tiny bit of gain and <laughs> that sweet spot on the amplifier. It is just magic. We have Duncan Design pickups in here. They are, you know, overseas made pickups, but the bridge pickup is the HB101B, which is built overseas, but it uses the same wine specifications as the USA made uh, 59 humbucker. 
Up in the neck position, we have the HB102N, which is spec like the Jazz pickup, the USA Jazz pickup. Both of them made overseas. They're great sounding pickups. Um, I'm just loving this guitar the way I love every D'Angelico I pick up. But anyway, let's hear what they do here. Uh, here is the bridge pickup, the uh, HB101B. Very, very nice. Uh, both pickups together. And the neck pickup by itself. <laughs> this is a blues monster too. Uh, anyway, great sounds out of this guitar. Very well built, beautifully bound all the way around. As always, the build quality of these guitars are near impeccable. Uh, to find a guitar in this price range that has such finely finished fret ends, uh, just everything about this. These necks just always feel great on these guitars. But anyway, if you've got questions about this guitar or any other, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call or chat with them, email them, whatever, get in touch with them. They are the experts on every brand they sell and it is their mission to set you up with the perfect match for your playing style. No matter what gear you're looking for, they're going to match you up with the right thing. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and until next time, have a great day. We'll see you soon.